Because I know there's a lot of you out there that like to play ranked and a lot of you actually end up playing solo. Today, I'm gonna play a few solo games, not with the Fletcher, I'm gonna play it with the Lightning. And as we play this, I'm going to point out everything I'm seeing and maybe you can relate some of your gameplay to the things I'm talking about, things you should be doing, positions you should be in. I'll try and cover it all. I think the DD might be one of the easiest ways to try and cover all of this. But regardless, the aim of this is to try and help you get through your solo experience playing rank. And of course, first game, the one thing that I was actually worried about uh, is a low yang. I mean, as a lightning, I pretty much beat everything out there except a low yang. Now I, I can, finagle some things here and there, but Lo Yang having a more powerful Hydro than me, he's gonna be able to bully me off the cap until I know his Hydro is gone. So we'll just have to play this right, play it slow, take our time. These guys are in a div, hopefully they kinda have an idea of what to do. He's going for the rock, that's perfect, that's what he should do. This guy's moving up a little bit, try and back me up. We'll see. I'm gonna hold on to one rack. I'm gonna throw one rack and then hold on to a rack. I say that as that guy makes that maneuver. Go ahead and throw him. I'm actually gonna go out wide here because I know the Lo Yang beats me on Hydro. I'm not even gonna try and get into a direct confrontation with him off the rip here. Maybe I can get a Torp on this guy, get a Flood going. There's a Hydro, so Lo Yang is close. Very, very close. That's fine. Pop this. If I can take some shots. I know I'm still hydroed. That's for now. Another gun not gonna get online? There, okay. We have a gun out, but that's fine. Now I'm basically I'm shooting for free here. For now, the slow yang's about to pop out. Problem solved, sir. I'm gonna get spotted here. That's fine. Far enough away, I think I live. I don't take too much damage. Get a permanent fire there, makes it super worth it. Now let's just reposition a little bit out wide. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke up and try and help this guy. Don't know if it's worth actually torping, but maybe I can do a little bit of damage. Siegfried's probably a pretty good choice for this if you want to play a cruiser because you have torpedoes and you have so much armor. Oh, come on now. Unlikely I pull this. Needed those other two guys to do something. Yeah, I'm gonna get caught here. There's nothing I can do on this miniature map. Oh well, go to the next game. I wish there was something more I could do, honestly. I wish there was, but there's just not. Sadness. A little bit of a different setup. Charles Martel, Ochakov. Um, they have Hipper Riga. Hipper Riga is going to be pretty strong, I feel. Riga obviously with radar, Hipper with armor and torpedoes. And if these guys just sit back, I don't really see how we lose. Cause I don't think I lose to a kangaroo unless I eat a random torpedo. No hydro, I'm not overly stressing. Looks like these guys both want to go to the inside. Don't know how I feel about that. Definitely one of them needs to be cross firing. Probably the Martel just cause it's faster. We'll see what we can do with this. Definitely if I was the Martel, I would be I would be going out there. Watching my RPF, I just took over location. The kangaroo really go in that channel? Surely not. Oh my god, he did. We'll just get these caps. We'll set up to where we can throw torps. This guy's got AP loaded too. Nothing to stress about. Get these caps and just start throwing torps. Wow, okay. I know that's not the winning play. Never go out there. I mean, that's that's definitely not the winning play. 
And that's battle two. Not a whole lot to talk about in that one. I don't know what the enemy team was doing. They never they never really pushed. They never had anything going. It was, yeah, it was pretty mundane. I'm going to try a cruiser this time. I'm just feeling... Let's just try a cruiser. I'm going to try the Bayard. Why not? I'm sure this is going to go well for us, but that guy was AFK and that guy was AFK as well. I'm sure that's a great sign. Roma mains. Interesting. He fired. Oh. I don't know if that live AP loaded. Hello? Definitely popping the booster. Okay, Roma's gone. This thing gets its screw knocked left and right. That's so crazy. Fuzzy. Why's my router over? Problem resolu, chef. Where do I think he would be? He's he's right there. Okay. I'm firing for free. Doesn't make. See, cap reset. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. Firing for free. Take some take some shots into the smoke. You never know. How has homeboy lost all his hit points and he's literally not moved? And he's there. What? Well, we gave it a solid run for the money. Sort of, not really. Be big if these would stick. Come on, Bismarck, help pull me out here, man. It's gonna hurt me. We're dead. Oh my god. Believe it overpins. Back gun's surely gonna kill us, right? Somehow we're alive. Not by much. We're still alive. Mike comes the shocker. We lost that one. Now this is a really interesting map. This is cool. I, I mean, I could see where you could cut out to the right. You could also cut up to the left, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get right up on the edge of the cap. I'm going to dare the DD to get on the cap because I think I, with my radar and at that range, I think I could probably just remove him. But we'll see. I have not played this in rank. This is a cool really kind of a unique map setup for for rank i mean look how many islands there are Let's see what happens very interesting yeah we're just gonna hold right here i don't know if it'd be worth a radar after this Eight, nine. He's going to be out of it pretty soon. I mean, I've got him hard spotted. He shot his guns. I don't know what his gun range is. Oh, that's that's a big mistake for Mr. Kangaroo. Just can't do that. Edinburgh, you are pushing it, dude. We've sunk an enemy destroyer. Oh, did, did they not all clear or something? They must not have. Pure sadness. But take note of my positioning here. You'll notice something. Cleveland can't lob me. The Edinburgh can't hurt me. I'm here. I'm at the edge of the cap. Like, yes, I don't care that they got the cap. We'll get the cap right back from them. But just take a note as to my positioning. I have the ability to disengage at any time that I choose. And that's something I think a lot of people don't do. And if they did, they would live longer. They'd become better players. Make sure you have a way to disengage out of a fight. Now I'm engaging here. Because that. He was ready. 
might hurt worse. Enemy cruiser found Bump a hydro just because you never know. I might have thrown a torp. The ship is on okay. Fire. It's fine. Assuming he's going to beach. Zone, he's going to beach right there. Yeah, I'll just push him. I don't care. Okay, don't fire all the guns. Why has that been happening so much lately? The ship is on fire. Oh, come on. Stay angled. Solved, sir. There we go. Much better. Much better. Like I was saying, though, Positioning is everything. Doesn't matter if it's battleship, cruiser, DD, have a way to disengage, run away, keep yourself alive. I'm only going to play one battleship game, and honestly, I kind of want to see what these secondaries do. I mean, I'm going to do something that's got a lot of armor, that's running firefighter, number two, because you know you're gonna, probably going to get burnt down. Maybe, maybe you delete him. We're going to plan to get burnt down. And we're going to plan to have the ability to rush and torpedo. I mean, that's that. Bismarck B and a Kansas. I mean, seems like pretty perfect for me, honestly. Oh, look at that. AFK? Couldn't have guessed. Only happens, I don't know, every single game. Let's just hope Brandenburg shoots like that the rest of the game, dude. We'll take that. I would I would be willing to bet a strong bet that these guys are not running perks like firefighter your DC down already hello I'm gonna wait as long as I can wait as long as I possibly could hopefully his DC's off and I get one uh. oh did our DD start playing hey look at that Holy cow. I'm going to flip the guns. Ooh. Because this is a small map, maybe I catch him. Maybe. Caught him. Secondary target. Hitting the button. They're not firing. That's cool. Oh my god, he's coming straight through. As long as he didn't pre-torp this gap, I'm going to be Gucci. He torped too late. You peasants can't do anything to me. Dang, how many how many racks did he throw? I forgot. Can we retarget? Thank you. No, oh, kangaroo gets it. Okay. Actually, I could just sit in this guy's smoke and just let my secondaries lob for a little while. <laughs> I didn't think about that, but I probably could. Let's do that. Let's let's meme these guys. <laughs> Not only am I gonna get the cap, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep activating my secondary um, armament thing. Whatever it's called, I forget what it's called. The epic mod for the secondaries. I think Kansas is DC down. Oh, come on now. Thank God for secondaries lighting fires, because my main guns can't do it hardly. Our Bismarck died? Yo. Hey, double fire. How about that? We probably need to stay alive now. Honestly. We're fine. Totally fine. He looks like he's really enjoying the secondary build. Honestly, secondaries, you know, are pretty... They're fairly useless, but I could see how maybe in a game mode like this, it might be more worth it. Give me a fire. Give me a permanent fire. Please. You think this guy's realized what he's done? Probably not. I don't think anyone realizes anything in this game, but he can't get out from behind that rock. Yeah, he's stuck. He's stuck right there. 
There's nothing he can do. He can't go anywhere. <laughs> it's white line. He can't he can't make that passage. Something tells me he's pretty dead. I don't know what it is. Yeah, boink, 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 boink. Solid game. Solid game. Just remember, no matter what you're playing, have a way to disengage. That's very important. The second thing I would tell you is try and play off your teammates. Even if they're off doing something dumb, try to play off your teammates. Newsflash, you're not going to win every game. If you have two terrible teammates, accept it, move on, blow up to the next one. There's not really anything else to say. Just play smart, play for the long game. I'm off to the lake this weekend, boys. Got another fishing tournament. Peace!